do you want these kids to get out of tomorrow? Oh, I just like to see a practical application of this idea of impulse. Uh, just the fact that, well, the classic example is just how you run. And uh, in terms of barefoot versus heel strike, barefoot you're absorbing, and you're taking more, there's more time that elapses when your foot contacts the four, or sorry, when your foot in contact with the forefoot first, that absorbs, there's more time there to absorb the impact of your, the weight of your body going straight down. Mm -hmm. And I've just been showing lots of examples of force versus time. Now if you increase the time, the force goes down. So if you increase the stopping time, then the force is reduced. And that's what happens when you run barefoot versus heel strike. Um, if nothing else, just to get them to think differently. Oh, that's perfect. That's good stuff. It's fast. Yeah. I realize you can go slow mo and like show impact or whatever. Yeah, it's not really a slow motion camera, but it'll do the do the trick. So you, you just you, like, you just gonna leave the camera and like go downstairs? Yeah, if you <laughs> can just keep going, I'll, <laughs> I'll be right back a little bit. <laughs> like I realize it's it's so close to the same. Like my heel is barely not hitting, but I'm not striking with it first. Yeah, because you don't have that big thick cushion that gets in the way when you're moving your foot down, right? Exactly. See, I just, I mean, I don't know if I was, like if I was, obviously if I was sprinting, I'd probably have my, like my heel would be up higher, especially if I was really sprinting, but if I'm just barely, if I'm just jogging, I can feel that like my heel is still contacting, but it's not the first contact. Yeah. So like all of the cushion is coming from the front, well, sometimes the heel doesn't even contact, actually. I bet if I went faster, I bet the faster I ran, the higher my uh, heel would be uh, above contact. Like, it would just be way up there, I think, if I was running faster. How do you feel, though, different, like, apart from your foot, how do you feel up above? Um, up above, I don't know. It's pretty much the same. I don't know, I have to run for a while until I can feel, like I can feel different muscles working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like right away and stuff. And uh, they're not the muscles that they use with the shoes on. I can feel like in my, in the front or in my, uh, what are those? Quads? Or Stand, no, in, like in the front of my, not my calf, but in front. In the shin area? Yeah, the shins. The, those are flexors or extensors, like I'm confused from that, which one yeah, I can't remember. I'm not I'm not very naughty in that. I feel those. I feel those in the front. Bit. I'll have to look at the video a little bit, but it seems to me like your posture is straight, straighter. Like when oh. you're your shoes, it seemed like your shoulders were slouched forward a little bit more, your head dropped, your chin was down. That's a, a good point. I'm not, I wasn't even conscious of that actually. But I think. Um, I remember from what I've read, I think it almost forces you subconsciously or otherwise to have a better posture. I think it does. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that though. And you probably recorded all that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For <laughs> posterity. Did you need did you get a shot from the I did, so you're, you're good. good. I'm just I'm just pretending like you still have to run for something so you keep going. But you're good to stop whenever you okay. are. That does, I can feel the tread. Like, I can think it would, it would, it would leave a... You're hardly sweating for having run 10 miles just now. Oh, I didn't run 10 miles. Oh, did I, run? I was saying that because you're on oh. <laughs> video for the kids. No, I, I could tell on this, it would hurt my feet after a while. And I, and I guess too, if I had been running barefoot a lot, then I probably wouldn't get blisters as fast. Yeah. But I can feel them. Because, hey, I don't, let's face it, I don't, I don't go anywhere on my bare feet. At least not run.